Blake, I promise to love you for all of my days. I promise not only to love you today and tomorrow, but every single day of our lives. I promise to be patient and kind to you. I will not rejoice in your wrongdoings, rather rejoice with you in the truth of the gospel. I promise to be the best husband that I am able to be. I will lead, love, cherish, and protect you until the end of my days. My love for you today is so full. I know that not every day in our marriage will feel like this one. I promise, however, to love you unconditionally through all of life's ups and downs. My love for you is not a love that wavers. It is a solid and steadfast love, one that I am only able to give you because I have known it first from Christ. I am so excited to start this life with you. God has blessed me in many ways in this world, but you stand out among all of them. I love you more than words or any eloquently written letter could ever express. I take you to be my husband. James 1.17 says, every good gift and every perfect gift is from above. You're the sweetest gift from the Lord. You're the man I've prayed for since I was a little girl. God faithfully provided exactly what I needed when he brought you into my life. You're more than anything I could have asked for. I give you all of me and I accept all of you. I'll laugh with you when life has given us lemons and I'll cry when things aren't going so great. I promise to place my identity in Jesus and find my joy in Him alone. I promise to fully pursue the Lord in my own life so that I can live and love you with Christ at the center. And I promise to make Jesus my priority and my treasure. Thank you for choosing me to be your girl and for loving me as I am. I trust you completely and give you my whole heart. I've never been so sure of anything before. You're the love of my life and I choose you over and over. I want to hug you, but I can't. Are you ready? I'm ready. Kevin and Sue Ellen, do you give Blake, your daughter, to be married to Nick today? We do. Join hands. I, Nick, take you, Blake, to be my wedded wife. I, Blake, take you, Nick, to be my wedded husband. To love and to cherish for the rest of my life. I love you and give myself to you, according to God's holy covenant. Amen. And, Nick, do you have a token of your sincerity in your wedding vow to give to your wife, Blake? Yes. Blake, do you have a token of sincerity in your wedding vows to give to your husband, Nick? I do. <laughs> With this ring, I be wed. In the name of the Lord Jesus. A symbol of my commitment and love to you. All right. By the love you have promised, by the vows you have exchanged, the rings that you have given and received by the authority of the state of Indiana, I now pronounce you lawfully married, husband and wife. Nick, you can kiss your bride. <laughs>
no longer Blake's best friends. Yeah, you can mourn that for a little bit. It's very sad. You grow up and all of a sudden all those times of dress up and sleepovers just mean nothing, I guess. <laughs> but here's the good news. Her new best friend is someone our wildest dreams couldn't have even dreamt up for her. He is gentle, kind, strong, encouraging, and goofy as all get out. Nick, we know that you will be the best friend that Blake has ever had. Blake and Nick Pittman, I will continue to pray over you. Health, unity, and a deep love of the Lord. I love you guys a lot. Blake has been such an amazing friend to me and a wonderful roommate. She's shown me how to wholeheartedly trust in the Lord, even in the unknown. She's shown me real courage by going to those nursing clinicals when she felt true fear. And she's taught me what loving everyone unconditionally looks like. Nick, you're a great godly man. He's got a great godly woman. Now she's your wife and your roommate. Please take great care of her. Because <laughs> she's the best friend you'll ever have. I love you both. <laughs> And um, I actually met Nick about five years ago, uh, right in the front parking lot over there. Um, I was just beginning to serve as a youth leader, and he was coming to our youth group for the first time. Um, and it's been one of the greatest joys of my life to get to know him. And on that trip, it was really fun. He uh, put up with me shouting at him in German constantly. And um, I've seen him mature a lot since then because he ate a habanero pepper before a 12-hour drum home. All the bite. And so he's definitely grown a lot since then in his decision making. So thankful for that, of course. <laughs> I can't quantify how much you love your bride. Just can't do that. Um, so how much more can we not even begin to grasp just how amazing um, Christ's love is for us? And I'm really thankful for that picture. Um, just how incomprehensible that really is. And um, as I got to hear his voice this morning, and now um, my joys made complete.